a physician must know the sensitivities of the pathogen causing a patient's infections. The most widely used method of testing is the disc diffusion method, also known as the Kirby-Bauer test. The National Committee for Clinical Laboratory Standards recommends using a nutrient medium called Mueller-Hinton auger. Each bacteria must be tested separately. The Mueller-Hinton auger is inoculated to get a lawn of bacteria on the surface. Label the bottom of the plates with your name, date, and bacterium. Flame the tube and replace the cap. Remove the cap from the culture. Flame the mouth of the tube. Dip a sterile cotton swab in the broth culture to be tested. Gently press the swab on the inside of the tube to remove excess liquid. Swab across the auger in one direction without leaving any gaps. Turn the plate 90 degrees. Using the same swab, swab the plate again. This time, you are swabbing perpendicular to the first inoculum. Turn the plate a quarter turn and swab over the entire plate. The objective is to not leave any gaps in the lawn of bacteria. Replace the cover on the plate and let the plate stand for five minutes. Discard the swab. Standardized antibiotic impregnated paper discs are used for this test. Choose five antibiotic discs to test. Sterilize forceps by dipping them in alcohol and burning off the alcohol. Hold the forceps pointed down and keep the flame away from the beaker of alcohol. Obtain one antibiotic disc with the forceps and place it on the auger surface. Replace the Petri plate lid. Sterilize your forceps. Pick a disc with a different antibiotic and place it on the agar surface. Repeat this procedure to place five different antibiotic discs. Incubate the plate, inverted, at 35 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. The antibiotic diffused from the disc. The bacteria should grow uniformly over the auger surface except where the antibiotic inhibited or killed them. Using a ruler on the underside of the plate, measure each zone of inhibition and record the size of each zone. This value can be compared to the clinical and laboratory performance standards to determine whether the bacterium is susceptible to an antibiotic. After recording all of your data, properly discard your plates to be autoclaved.